everyone. So today I am back and it is quite a gorgeous day outside. It is freezing cold because I've just been shopping, um, but it is pretty nice. The sky is blue and the sun is shining and it almost looks like it's summer in the background. So that makes me really happy. But today I'm back with a new sort of video. I'm going to be doing, I think I'm gonna call this Project 20 Pan. I kind of was like trying to root round for the right name to call this because at first I thought it was a shopping moustache but then I realised that that was just sort of just rooting through like all your makeup collection and using things that you hadn't used in a while and like rediscovering it which is which isn't exactly what I was punning. Mine was more of a find things and use them up style post which is why I thought it might be a project pan. But then I figured some of the products you can't hit pan on, you just use them up. So is Project Pan the right thing to use? I don't know, but I'm just going to call it Project Pan and you know what I mean anyway. So basically I picked 20 items that I want to try and use up before I buy too many more cosmetics. I'm not going to be so strict on it as I'm putting myself on a spending ban and I will not buy any cosmetics that come out but I am being a lot more strict about what I will allow myself to buy. I'm trying to use up these products before I do go out and like splurge on a bunch of new things that I don't need. So yeah, I've whacked everything into my little Space NK bag here and I'm just gonna like pull things out and explain to you a bit about why I'm using up this product or what I think about the product or whatever comes to mind and yeah, we'll see how it goes. So I'm just gonna start because this intro is way long. So the first product that I'm trying to use up, there's a lot of hair products in this project pan, by the way, just to bear that in mind. The first product I'm trying to use up is the Got To Be Guardian Angel Heat Protection, Heat, heat Protection, Heat Protection Blow Dry and Flat Iron Spray. And it looks like this. And I would say this has got half left. And I use this loyally for years and years and years. I've gone through bottles and bottles of this. And then I just started to um, investigate different products and this fell to the back of my collection and I've just not been reaching for it. So basically I just want to use it up. It's an alright spray but I've kind of fallen in love with the Tresemme heat, um, heat styling spray now. So I just need to get rid of it basically. So that's why I'm going to be using that up. And then the same goes for this Aussie Take The Heat Leave-In Spray which looks like this. Again I would use this for years and years and years and have gone through countless bottles of it. It's a great product, but I'm a bit tired of it and I just want to try something else. And again, I'm using the Tresemme heat, um, heat styling spray. So this one is really empty. I would say it's got like that much left, but again, it's just something I could just use up, get it out of my drawer and make room for new products that I can go and buy, yay. So yeah, I'm gonna use up that. The next hair product that I'm gonna use up is the It's A 10 Miracle Leave-In product, which you might be a little bit surprised to hear about. Um, I got this when I was on holiday last year in New York, and I really, really like it. I'm not using it up because I just want to, I want it gone because I don't like it. I do really, really like it, but it just is a, it's a small bottle. I've only got that much left. You can see how much I've got left out of the whole bottle. I've used half of it, and it just takes up room in my little drawer of um, hair products. So I just thought, just use it up, enjoy it, and then move on because it's not like I'm gonna be able to get some more of this. I'm not gonna pay like extortionate amount of money just to get it like shipped into the UK or whatever, so. Then I have this, which is the Beauty Protector Protect and Detangle Leave-In Conditioner, which I got in my beauty box, my uh, birch box. Absolutely love this stuff. This is kind of one of the ones where it's been pushed to the back of my drawer and then I've only just rediscovered it recently. I used it um, yesterday when I washed and blow dried my hair and I love this stuff. I forgot how much I absolutely fell in love with it when I got it. It smells like candy. It smells so good. My hair still smells of it now. It smells absolutely amazing. And it's got, it's, it's kind of like the Miracle It's a 10 leave-in product. It's got like a bunch of different things that it does. I'll give you a few. Instant detangler, thermal protector, UV protector, seals cuticle, smooths hair, locks in colour, adds shine, weightless, non-greasy, conditions, blah, 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 blah. There's so many different things and it's absolutely gorgeous. But again, it's just a little product and I've got a bunch of little products that I just want to use up. And so I'm just going to be using this one up and I think it's about that full. So again, shouldn't really take me too long to use up, but another thing I'm going to try and get rid of. 
So the next hair product is the KMS Silk Sheen Styling Cream, which looks like this. And this is quite full still, but I've been using this for weeks. As soon as I got it in my birch box, it's pretty much been in my hair routine since then. And I do like it, but I'm not, I'm not overly fussed on it. It's not the best KMS product that I've tried. I really like the quick blow dry spray. And once I've finished all of these hair products, I'll probably go and buy the full size one of them. And then I'll be like really satisfied that I've got rid of all these products and made room for that one special product that I really like. So yeah, it is, it's an all right product, but again, it's just another small, um, not sample size, well I guess it is sample size, but this is pretty big, 50 ml for example. Um, but yeah, it's just another one where I'm just gonna get rid of it out of my drawer and yeah, just have the satisfaction of using it up, I guess. And then I think this is the final hair care product that I have, and it's the John Frieda Frizzy's Original Formula Hair Serum, and it looks like this. And I have been using this for ages. I'm sure you can remember when I said that I purchased it because I absolutely love the sample so much. And I kind of feel a bit like this has stopped working for me, or maybe I've just got used to the results, so now I can't see them anymore. But yeah, I just feel like my hair needs to move on to something else because it's getting too used to this. I'm not sure, but you can probably see I've got half of this left. Let me show you. So this has lasted me forever because you know when I bought this, it was like months and months ago. Um, and I do like it, but again, I think it's just time for a change, so I'm just going to try and use this up. And then let's move on to some body care products because there's an awful lot of them as well. That's why I didn't want to call it Project Pan because you can't hit pan on any of those, but hey ho. Anyways, so the first body product that I want to use up, which you can see is kind of nearly used, so I'm a little bit cheating, but you're not going to pick like a brand new product to do Project Pan with, are you? So yeah, the blah, blah, blah. <laughs> this product is the Etapu. Um, exfoliating shower body cream and it looks like this and I got this from um, a PR company maybe around this time last year maybe a little bit later March April May last time last time last year and I've been really liking this I've obviously been switching it up between other products which is why I haven't finished it yet but I think it's now just time to finish it up I do absolutely love it and I probably would repurchase it, but there's so many other different scrubs at the moment that I want to try. Specifically the Soap and Glory breakfast scrub, because that stuff smells like maple syrup and I need to get my hands on it. I smelled it when I was in Boots today when I was trying not to buy anything. And I didn't any I didn't buy anything by the way. Um but yeah, but I smelled it and I was like, I'm so getting that once I've finished up my body scrubs. So yeah, this is just another product that I want to get rid of and it shouldn't take me too long to get rid of. It's very hard to get this last bit out there. I'm finding it really hard to like squeeze it. I've been bending the tube and everything. Um, but yeah, that's another product that I want to use up, but I would definitely recommend it to anyone else that wants to try a good body scrub. It doesn't exactly smell the greatest, but it works a dream. Seriously, my legs are always left super smooth after I've used that. And then another body scrub that I want to use up is the Along Came Butty. Long came Butty? Along came Betty, say you scrub me, gentle skin buffer. And it looks like this. And this, I just don't like that much. It's just, it's a bit watery, a bit thin. The beads don't really do that much. It's just runny and yeah, like I'm not that fussed on it. So I don't think it would take me that long to use up because I think I've got about half of it left. Let me just have a look. I would show you, but it's just gonna run everywhere. I've got just under half of it left. I don't know if I can. Ooh, there we go. <laughs> um, but yeah, it smells amazing. It smells like orange and citrus and really nice, but it just doesn't do that great of a job. And then other body products I'm going to try and use up are these. Um, it is the Shea Butter Body Butter from the Body Shop. And this is a really old product. It's probably like out of date by now, but I'm going to... I'm gonna try and use it up. Like you can see that I barely touched it, but I'm gonna try and use it up. And if I react badly to it or something, I'm just gonna throw it away because I've had it for a really long time. But I do really like this product. Again, I just have so many body lotions and body butters to use. So I'm just gonna try and get rid of this one because as I say, it's quite old. Um, but yeah, it's really, really nice. Still smells quite nice. So I'm guessing that it'll probably be all right. But yeah, we'll just give that a go and can't wait to use that because I'll really enjoy using it up because it's such a great product. So. It's not like a chore, like, oh, I just want to get rid of it. Most of these products I actually do really like, so that's always a bonus. 
And then what other body products do I have? This is the Be Kind body lotion, which I got in my Birch box. And I'm just not fussed on this and it's quite a small sample. So I just want to get rid of it. I don't want to like waste it and just throw it in the bin. I could give it to someone else, but just the satisfaction of using it up and being like, yeah. And not like if I'm using this up, then I don't have to go and spend my own money buying something else. Do you know what I mean? So it's kind of a money saver to use it up instead of going and buying something else. I'll link the review down below, but yeah, I just want to move on. So there's that one. And then there's the Natural Honey Body Lotion, which looks like this, uh, which is probably about that full. It's going to take me a while to use this up, I reckon, but it was quite, quite a nice product. As far as I can remember, it's been one of those that's pushed to the back of my drawer and I haven't really reached for. And then I have this, which is gonna, probably going to be the product that's going to take me the longest to use up. And it's the L'Oreal um, Total Repair 5 Damage Erasing Balm, which I got when I was on holiday in America last year. And I bought it because Tati here on YouTube was like raving about it and like making it sound like it was the best hair product ever. So I had to get it and it was pretty cheap. It's like $5.99, like dollars. Um, so yes, yeah, so I was excited to give it a go, but it's just not really doing that much for my hair. Like, I don't think it's that amazing. Um, so I'm just gonna use it up for the sake of just having a conditioner and there's so much in here, I'm not gonna waste it. So I'm just gonna use it up and then move on to my John Frieda smooth start conditioner, the hydrating one that I absolutely love. And I've had a new bottle of it in my drawer and I've been trying not to use it. I've been trying to use everything else before I start it and it's absolutely killing me. So I just want to use this up now. But as you can see, there's quite a lot left in there. So it's going to take me a while to get rid of it, but I'm sure I'll be extremely happy once it's all gone. <laughs> so yeah, there's that product. And then I have a couple of hand creams in here. I have the Levura. Lavera hand cream with organic almond and organic shea butter. And this is another Birch Box product that I've just not loved that much. And at the moment my hands are extremely dry, so I'll be using hand cream like crazy. So it shouldn't be too hard to use this up. But I do have like five or six bottles of hand cream that I just need to get rid of. So I picked two to put in my project pan just so that I can like freshen up my stash and sort of like get rid of the old stuff and start using some stuff up, making some room. And this one is like that full. So there is quite a bit left. Uh, and I'm hoping that this isn't one that I reacted to. I can't remember, it's been so long since I've used it. I can't remember if I reacted to it or not, but I'm gonna give it a go. And yeah, if I react to it, like the Body Shop product, cause it's a bit old, I'll just throw it out. But at least I'm like trying to use it up and not like waste anything. And then I got this hand cream with a magazine um, a little while ago, I think it was the Glamour magazine. It's the L'Occitane uh, Dry Skin Hand Cream with 20% Sheer Butter, looks like this. And I have used quite a bit of it up, there's not too, too much left. This is my hand cream of choice at the moment, it's the one that I've been using the most. I do really like it, but it doesn't actually keep my hands hydrated for that long. Like I do find that they'll dry out again after about an hour and a half, which I'm sure didn't happen when I first started using this product. Maybe it's because it's aging, I don't know. But yeah, I'm just gonna use this up, which shouldn't be too difficult because as I say, my hands have been really dry recently from work, all the dust and like cleaning that I've been doing has just been making my hands like really like cracky and disgusting. So uh, yeah, and this, since it doesn't make my hands hydrated for very long, I feel like I'll be using a lot more of it. So yeah, this will probably be gone in a couple of weeks. So there's that product. And then there's only a few more I've got left. I'll do the lip products next. Oh, that's not a lip product. I will do the lip product next. It is the Dr. Lip Original Nipple Balm for Lips. And this is a tiny sample. And look how much I've got left. But I kid you not, you need like a pinprick amount of this stuff to do your lips. And it's gonna take me four ever to use this up. I mean, I reckon that I could use up, God, let me pick a product. I reckon I could use up this product before I could use this product up. I reckon I could use up my body butter before I use this product up. Like, literally. It's really, really nice as well. I didn't particularly like it too, too much to start with, from what I remember, but it has grown on me. Um, I like to put it on at night time just before I go to bed so that I wake up with nice soft lips and they're not all dried and cracked. And uh, yeah, it works really nicely. 
So I am going to enjoy using this up, but again, it's just another tiny little product that sort of gets on my nerves and I just want it gone. And then I will move on to this product, which is the Kiehl's Creamy Eye Treatment with Avocado, which I've had for a while now. I think I bought this last summer and it's nearly gone. I mean, I've already hit the bottom, so it's just a case of like using up the last little bit because I really want to start using my Clarins eye cream that you probably saw in a haul. Um, I bought it in the sale at Christmas. And I absolutely love that stuff. That's like my holy grail eye cream. But I cannot justify opening that when I still have other eye creams open. So I'm gonna use this up and then I can move on to my Clarins. And it's sort of like weaning my stash of like getting rid of stuff that I'm really not that bothered of and like, re re not retuning, but refining what I actually use so that I'm using like the best of the best that I found like what really really works for me and I absolutely adore so that is in my project pan and then I've got a few more products I've got the Gucci Guilty perfume for women which has got about that much left and you know that I'm a huge product like hoarder when it comes to perfume I absolutely love my perfumes and I have so many bottles and I just have started this thing where I just don't feel like I can start a new bottle of perfume until I've finished one previously. So I'm going to try and finish this one up and then I can actually start my Valentina perfume that I think I bought like in the summer last year and I still haven't started. And I know that perfumes go off but luckily I've not had one that smells bad yet. Do you know what I mean? Like you know they go horrible and you spray them and they don't smell what they're meant to smell like. I've not had one that's gone like that yet. Um, so that's very very lucky. But I just want to use this up so I can start using that other one because I absolutely adore it, but I don't think I've even sprayed it once since I've had it because I just want to like clean my stash of perfumes. So yeah, I'm really refining what I absolutely love and my taste and sense is changing. I used to absolutely adore this scent and I do still really like it. It's definitely like an evening scent, but I've just been wearing it during the day just to like use it up. Um, but yeah, my, my taste isn't really towards this type of perfume anymore. I've loved this for years, but I think I'm just into different styles now, so I'm gonna use that up. And then there's only three more products left. My, one is my MAC Well Dressed Blush, which is the first blush that I ever bought and I've majorly hit pan on, but I just need to use this up. I've had this for years and years and years. I know that's probably really bad, but like, it's fine. Like, it doesn't break me out. It doesn't like act weird on my skin or anything. It's just like, it's fine. It's not like gone wrong and manky. Like if it had, I would get rid of it. Um, but yeah, it's fine. So I just want to use it up because I really, really like it, but it is looking a little bit worn away now. So I just need to get rid of it. And then maybe I can buy a new matte blush. I used to buy them all the time and haven't bought one recently. So I'm going to treat myself when I finish this one to a new one. I have my Bobbi Brown Creamy Concealer which again I've hit pan on and I've nearly got rid of but I'm just going to use it the last little bit. This has kind of got a bit old now so I might end up throwing it away um, but I want to at least try and give it a go to use it up before I do do that. Um, it was alright, I really liked it to start with but I think as it got older like it didn't work as well for me so that's probably why I moved on to something else but I'm using the Collection 2000 Lasting Perfection Concealer at the moment and it works so much better than this one and this one was way more expensive so I just think that I'm going to use this up, get it out of my makeup bag and then I'm just going to stick to the Collection one which is what I've been doing for months and months and months now already anyway but yeah so there's that product and then the last product that I'm going to finish up which is kind of two but they're so empty I just feel like I should stick them as one and it's my foundation, my MAC Studio Fix foundation. When it gets to a certain stage, I always buy a new one and then I'll use that new one straight away and never actually finish my previous foundation. And the stage is this, when there's just a little bit left around the rim and I never get to use that up. So I'm gonna try my absolute hardest to use that up. Because if I show you the other one, it's exactly the same. Let me show you, can you see? exactly the same. I always get to that stage and then I can never use it up. And if I can just use up that last little bit, I can back to Mac these babies and get lipstick. So win. So yeah, so I'm gonna use that up. And that is everything from my Project 20 Pan. And I'm a little bit intimidated. Looking at all this now, I'm kind of thinking, what have I set myself up for? 
this is bad. But yeah, I will probably do like an update maybe once a month or something, or maybe I'll just do like updates on my blog, like when I've finished five products, I'll do like a blog post or something to celebrate it. And then maybe once I finish five products, I'll like buy one to sort of treat myself. I don't really know how it's gonna work. Let me know in the comments below what you think I should do, if you think I should just like hold out until I've finished everything and then go wild and like treat myself. Or if you think the, the five products idea is a good idea, I have no idea. But yeah, anyway, let me know in the comments below and I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I'll see you guys next week. Bye.